Okay, we have two questions. And um, what is occipital neuralgia and what are the causes of chronic daily headache? All right, occipital neuralgia is a chronic headache pain, upper neck, back of the head, behind the eyes. Sometimes you see diminished sensation in the um, area of the lesser and greater occipital nerves, which are the cause of the uh, continued pain. Um, and it's uh, closely associated with the occipital artery, which is uh, where the neurovascular complex comes up. Now, uh, it's usually caused by uh, trauma to the head, concussion, physical stress on the nerve, uh, repetitive neck contractions like at jobs where you're working at a computer, uh, tension or uh, uh, contraction of the musculature around the um, uh, nerves. Uh, there uh, can be all kinds of compressive anatomy, anatomy that kind of uh, things that uh, press on the uh, uh, nerves as they travel, tendons, bones, muscles, uh, even the occipital artery can be tortuous and, and can uh, be a problem. It's, um, it's a common chronic daily headache cause, and it's often misdiagnosed as tension or migraine uh, headache because it's, um, its features are so close. It's typically featured with uh, sensitivity to the eyes, um, blurry vision, sensitivity to light. Uh, it's usually one-sided, but it can be both-sided. Um, it's um, associated with neck pain, sharp pain, uh, usually short, uh, I mean, often stabbing pain, shooting pain, uh, throbbing pain, uh, tender scalp. Uh, the pain can uh, be aggravated uh, by the neck sometimes. So those are the kind of symptoms. And um, we are going to discuss in the uh, second part of the seminar today uh, the uh, occipital nerve block and how you can treat occipital neuralgia. So we'll get to that. Um, causes of chronic daily headache. Uh, that can fill a book. In fact, there are books written about chronic daily headache. Um, as, as I told you early on, I don't like headaches. I have chronic pain syndromes. I've had frozen shoulder, which is also known as adhesive capsulitis. I've had lower back problems, neuropathy. Um, but I have headaches sometimes. I can't handle headaches. I really feel for those people that have chronic daily headaches. And um, I am always uh, going into a kind of a panic when I get a headache. And, and I uh, do have migraines, but uh, thank goodness, rarely. But if you have chronic daily headache, there are all kinds of headache potential headache causes. Now, there can be, uh, of course, pathological causes, tumors, things like that. But what I'm going to go through real quick is the ones that I saw the most in practice. I saw um, the most common thing I saw was rebound headache. Uh, that's from analgesic overuse or drug overuse. Um, usually, uh, uh, pills that have caffeine in them, butalbital, barbiturates, uh, certain non-steroidal inflammatory drugs, analgesics, uh, like Ultram, narcotics, but it's from overuse. You get caught in this cycle of, of dependency and rebound, and there's both physiological and psychological factors of why people will use these uh, medicines and then get themselves into this chronic, everyday headache. Um, there's also um, hormonal-related headaches, uh, which I would see, uh, especially uh, postmenopausal. Uh, transformed migraine was the second most common one I saw, which was when an episodic migraine transforms into a daily headache. So a, a migraine you have four or five times a month suddenly becomes a daily headache. And that, um, uh, I when I saw it, it, was usually related to hormonal changes. Uh, and uh, sometimes there were stress uh, changes. Uh, then there's a, the third one I saw the most was triggers just weren't being addressed. You know, people had a trigger factor that just wasn't being addressed. Uh, allergies, um, stress, 
psychological, physical stress, um, and it started manifesting into daily headaches. But it was really, a, it was an episodic headache that was having daily because the triggers weren't being addressed. Uh, and then, of course, there's chronic daily tension headache, which um, you know can be due to occupational, computer use, uh, lighting, stress. I saw more and more of that when I was in practice because of uh, individuals being uh, sitting, you know, at the computer all day long and uh, developing uh, neck pain triggers and, and all kinds of things. So, but the two that uh, I saw the most in practice by far were transform migraine and rebound headache. And rebound headache was usually the one that didn't get uh, that got to the migraine specialist, which was I was the neurologist in the area. So, uh, because it didn't get addressed, uh, you know, in such a way that you know it, it's difficult you got to take people off the medication you got to get people uh, you we used to be able to hospitalize people put them on a DHE protocol or something like that so it's very difficult we are going to go over chronic daily headache in the rest of the seminar um, so um, we're going to take a break now and coffee break this was um, so I hope everybody um, has enjoyed the uh, our our migraine seminar in celebration of the June uh, Headache Awareness Month. We decided to do a migraine seminar and uh, come back for the second half and we'll address some of these uh, things that were questions from the first half. Take care.